So I have my meat here. I had it sitting in a mixture of vinegar, water, and some salt. So I have my pot right here. I'm going to boil the meat for like maybe 15, 20 minutes just to get like all the gunk and all of that off of it. And yeah, so I'm just gonna add my meat to the pot and then I'm gonna add some boiling water. We're getting rid of all of that just scum and muck that's coming off of the meat. We're gonna rinse it and then we're gonna pressure cook it in another pot. So I'm preparing my pot to pressure cook the meat. I just added a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to saute everything and I'm going to brown the meat before I start pressure cooking it. Some onions. I'm going to add a few pieces of cardamom. And I'm gonna add a few bay leaves. Gonna add a little bit of coarse salt. Now I'm gonna start adding the meat. A little bit more salt. I'm gonna add a spoonful of white pepper. I'm gonna add a spoonful of garlic powder. I'm gonna add a half a spoon of turmeric. We're gonna add the water and start to pressure cook. We're gonna allow this to pressure cook for about 35 minutes. So I'm gonna start working on the rice. We're going to add a little bit of oil to the pot. We see the oil is hot. I have my rinsed rice. I'm scared of hot water, uh, hot oil. Oh. Now we're just gonna add some water to it and let it cook. We're also going to add a little bit of salt. We're going to let it come to a boil. And once the water starts boiling, we're going to turn it on low and let it cook all the way through. Now our meat is finished. So we're gonna work on the yogurt. I just have this, can you see it? Soup starter kit. I'm gonna add all of that to a blender to help everything mix together. Add everything inside. So now we're gonna add about three to four cups of broth.
Now we're gonna add about two cups of yogurt. And we're also gonna add a spoon of cornstarch. Now this next part is optional, but I think it adds a really delicious flavor to the yogurt. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. We're going to toast up some garlic before we add the yogurt to it. I'm adding about four cloves of garlic, but I like a lot of garlic in my food. So, if you don't, Add less, or you could add none. It's up to you. I'm going to add one more cup of broth into this just to get the rest of the yogurt out and I'm going to add it to the pot. We're going to keep stirring this to make sure it doesn't burn until it starts to boil. Now that our yogurt has begun to boil, we're going to take the meat and add it back into the pot. Okay, now it's time to assemble. We're gonna take some of this shroff bread. And just place it down on the platter. Now we're gonna take the yogurt and pour it over the bread so that the bread soaks it up. Now I'm gonna take the pieces of meat and add it on top of the rice. If there's any big bones, you could take those out. Now we're gonna add more of the yogurt sauce on top of the meat and rice. Finally, we're gonna add the garnish. I have some toasted almonds and pine nuts. I also have some chopped parsley. So this is the final product. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.